Hello. Hello, Jim. Yeah. Oh, at last, I get you. Yeah. I've been trying to get a hold of you for a while. <coughs> hmm. You still in the photo key? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. How are you going? Good. I was just getting a little worried uh, about you. <laughs> hey, what are you coming there? Uh, no, um, uh, that'll be on, um, uh, 30th, 29th. Oh. 29th. Oh, okay. That's that's yeah. before going to Parihaka, eh? Yeah. You got you. Uh, that's uh, before I forget. Um, Kingy, not Kingy. Um, Willie Pater wanted to know how many people are going from there, including myself and um, I think Dion. You and, were, uh, at the moment, it doesn't mean and a couple of other guys. Okay, okay. So I can tell him three so far. That's all he needed to know, just the number, so they they got an idea who, how many are going to cater for. Yeah, yeah. Mm, you know, about a dozen from here. Oh, a dozen, eh? Yeah. Oh, okay, because you've got um, you've got Waimana and you've got the Podigi and and us down yeah. the coast. Yeah, yeah. Mm, mm. And uh, and uh, we with the final opportunity tomorrow. Oh, hey. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna sound good. Yeah, got to nail them this time. Yeah, well, at uh, Bangaroa, at um, uh, uh, Bangaroa 2B. Yep. They broke down there when they stole it, you see. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're going to have to chase after those and, and make an inventory. Yeah, yeah. inventory. Well, they, the owners were, the owners were overturned by a clerk of the court. Yes, yeah. Okay, so you've got to make an inventory so that I can jump in and... Help along the way. Yes. Help along the way. Well, I've got, I've got four houses down here now. There, there you go. So there you go. You've got to. I'm taking it back to the housing court. Yeah. So, so that's good because I'll, I'll, um, I'll, I'll jump in and do the land things whenever uh, we yes. get one yes. done yes. first. We get one done first, yes. and then we'll switch on to your one and and um, uh, possibly one over at um, uh, Te Hui Rangi uh, Te Puru. Um, yeah, yeah. Over, over, over at uh, Taranaki, do one there, yeah. uh, one where you are, and that one on that, that Rangitukia uh, uh, will be a start. Yeah. I'm just going to delay the hui at, at Rangitukia maybe two weeks uh, later because I've got to wait for my funds to to uh, build up again because I, I spent a bit of money on my car getting tyres. I had to go in the wreckers and, uh, and yeah. pull them off wheels off the car myself. <laughs> uh, so, uh, oh no, I was just getting a bit worried, that's all, and Willie didn't hear from you yet. So I can tell him now well, that... Um, yeah, I, yeah, ah, that's what it was. <clears throat> Are you on a, the same phone or a different one? Uh, the same phone. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. Did you get the stuff I sent you? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. There's some more coming, but they're they're right down to the churches. <clears throat> the church, uh, St. Mary's in Tikitiki. That was the first church in this country at 1831. So that's more title from better credible, uh, credible information on who was who around the place. So that, I've got the... Huh? Yeah, 29th I'll be down. To 30th is when we shoot across to uh, Pariaka. Uh, I think I think I think there's me, Jamie, um, Tika, and uh, and um, Dion. Um, uh, okay. Oh, I'll see if they. He hasn't said much yet. He, I think he's been busy some doing some other things. So I'll see whether he's coming or not. Okay. Okay, Jim. Thanks very much. Bye. Oh. At last, I get Jim. Oh, now I can ring Bully and tell him. Bully Pater, in, uh, he's organising Napui. That's my friend, very reliable man. I got every faith in him. Um, but I'll go and find his number. Really? 
We're supposed to have my little mic on the on the camera so we can hear. One eye here. Mm -hmm. I just got off the phone to uh, to Jim. Uh, we called to he been in hospital, and he's okay. He sounds good. So uh, uh, he tells me there's about twelve altogether going from there. Thank you very much. That was all. I think that may have included me and uh, Jamie. Okay. Um, otherwise, there's me and Jamie, and I think. Um, Dion and Tika, his wife, the, um, uh, the Tainui man, um, I think they're coming with us as well. So that's, that's, that, that, I think that's maybe us in with him, because we're going to go to Azarupu. Okay. Okay, I'm with, I'm with Jim, because he's on our land blocks at the East Cape, where we're doing the block at uh, Rangitukia. And we're going to model out that block over there of land first. Because that one's ready to go, okay? Can you hear John? Yeah, that's me. Kia ora, Okay, kia ora. There we go. That's Willie. Okay, that ties that up. Now it's just Kingy and uh, I've got to ring um, um, Desmond and Gasborn. Um, <coughs> and something there. Okay, so um, now let's um, sort it for Parihaka, the hui. Um, so Jim will be taking a rope down um, of 12. Uh, there certainly would be myself and Jamie, uh, Patrick. Um, and also maybe, uh, I'm not too sure yet, uh, with Tika and... Um, uh, her husband Dion or Dihap um, from Manirewa. Um, so uh, that makes about 16 altogether going. And so that's what Willie wanted how many are going. So that's from um, um, Apotiki uh, and Waimana um, uh, and um, Kuterere Marai. And that's with um, uh, and Waimana Marai. <clears throat> That's Jim to be a uh, week or two. Uh, sounds in good health by the sounds of it. And uh, he's also on our block at um, Rain to here. The ha 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 um, decent block. Next to me on the C12 block. The Marangai or land blocks. Uh, so he's in both places. Or those three places. At the same time. Um, Matatu Waka. He's the um, chief of the Matatua Waka, uh, more like a tuakana, uh, and um, also covering uh, me at uh, Rangitukia on the Hao Simbi block. Um, we'll be doing that exercise. I've sent him the information on Ngati Pro uh, with their uh, history <coughs> out of Kilter. And I've got the church, St. Mary's Church, to send to Jim. Uh, and um, um, the um, <coughs> year of 1831, when the British uh, missionaries first arrived in Tiki Tiki. And from there on, the uh, Bishop Carr, uh, K A A, um, which is C-A-R-R, -R, but that's our partner. My partner is at the moment live, Rapataka, K-A-A, and um, uh, myself uh, with Bishop Toro Wanoa uh, and Tipi 
Ka, uh, Bishop Tiki Tipi Ka, uh, or more Reverend Tipi Ka and Reverend um, Toroa Wanoa. Now those um, uh, two um, reverends um, are who I name as being our um, Church of England um, uh, connection at that period of time uh, of King William IV's flag here, uh, reigned monarch, sovereign of England, and we are sovereign ourselves as of that contract that makes us separated from Maori, iwi Maori, crown. Uh, and we've got Moai crown. That's what we're going under now with uh, King Itaurua, uh, chief of Ngāpui, uh, Ngāti uh, Rahiri and uh, Ngāti Rehia and Ngāti Kawa uh, are going along with the Moai crown. That's theirs. Um, memorial uh, to the Pacific Islands um, and here being the centre of that organisation or in this case the financial investment interests of the <coughs> commercial land owners who we are under this flag and that contract with King William the Fourth and King William the Third. 1650 to 1702 period, and St. Patrick's Church Order here, eight point star, and also uh, King William IV uh, Jurisdiction of Admiralty Commercial Trading Bank Pound Note Flag. Okay, it's a private contract of two parties. Um, British King and the native Maui indigenous inhabitants, settlers of that period of time before the British got here and the Europeans got here in 1831 church. We're only going on the history of contact. Okay, first contact is the church before the Navy got here in 1834, sold the first piece of land between Pomari, Chief Pomari, Ngāpui, Chief Pomari II, and Captain James Reddy Clendon, British <coughs> surrogate King William IV, 20th of March, 1834. So, 1831, oh, sorry, 1830, this flag, reign period of monarch, 1830 to 1837, just between those periods of time. 1831, Rangitukia and Tiki Tiki contact, first British contact of Admiralty inside the Church of England, but the Church got here first and on the record. For the record, um, Jim Tooby and your um, um, Hapu uh, and Te One One Hapu from uh, Chatham Islands or Reku is its real name. Te One One or Te One. <coughs> uh, uh, that period of time. 1830 was when the Moriori Manukau tribesmen were roaming these lands as their second island from Rekuhu. Uh, so now we've got 1831 um, to 1831 the Church of England, St Mary's Church in Rangitukia landed on the beach and then up to Tikitiki, the village uh, where the church is, the St. Mary's Church on the hill. And so the church has reliable records of our history, our who was who. At that time, we only going on those names like sovereign means, I was here on this land 
when you turned up in your ship at 1831. Okay, so that's how we're doing it, uh, Jim, and also um, um, Te Huirangi Waikere Puru uh, at uh, Mount Taranaki, or <coughs> Raki, as the mountain is called, Raki, South Island, Ai O Raki, Ao Raki, and uh, Hikarangi is Ao Raki. Hikurangi. Those names come from Reku Chatham Islands. Okay, that's what I'm saying here about title. So we've got the church at 1831, and then we've got the Navy military at 1834, 20th of March 1834 at Kororareka, Russell. Okay, Pomare sold the first piece of land to um, Captain James Reedy Clendon, surrogate King William IV, in 1830, first contact up in Bay of Islands. But it did not have residency here in New Zealand from Britain yet. <clears throat> there was no sovereignty from the British King yet. And so that's when James Busby put together the Okiato Native Court in Kororareka or Russell as its name is called now, its English name and opened up the court as a magistrate the magistrate and convincing uh, lawyer um, James Reilly Clendon um, went to England, back to England, 1829 came back and put together the native titles, documents, that were fashioned by Te Rawaikato Whareherehere Manikau, Chief of Cambridge here, um, in Hamilton area, um, at his pa, uh, the um, Mangatoturi Pa, Mangatoturi Pa, that's where this chief, this Waikato chief came from, went to England before 1830 and more like 1820s to 1830 and learnt English, learnt mortgages, land transfer and put together the native title that Captain James Reddy Clendon used once he established British government here in this country between 1830 and 1834 when he came back from England 1830 uh, he went back to England in 1829 realizing that this country had no authority from the King of um, England, Britain, UK and so he came back with the native title in 1834 on the 20th of March and sold the first land and bought by and sell sale and purchase of um, 10 acres of land at the courthouse on Okiato and his residence there. Then he threw in the other 220 acres of land in Kororareka that Pomare had sold him in 1830. So that completed the that part of the 1830 period <coughs> long before 1835 Declaration of Independence of this flag in the New South Wales Australia New Zealand Government, New Zealand Company. We're talking about the Monacal Land Company set up in Scotland with this Monacal title. Okay, you got that? Um, Jim, we're using the Monacal title for our land to be seized back because of the fraud that's on it. They have to account for their fraud in an audit on the lands, one by one. Each land title in this country will be audited. Each land. First of all, starting from the Haho B7 block in Rangitukia is the first piece of land that will be audited. The second piece of land will be the motel at, uh, at uh, Rotten Point. 
uh, on 356 Slotton Point Road will be seized from this title off the New South Wales New Zealand Government because of the fraud that's gone on in that landmark against our first titles at Kororareka and the Church of England. Okay, you got that? It's your title against our title. And then the next block of land is the Ha Ha block and the seat of Marangaro block, the Ha Ha G7 block and the Marangaro C12 block. Those are the next blocks that will be seized up. <coughs> and also the blocks of land in uh, Duke Street, uh, the castle in Apotiki, that's the next piece of land. I believe that now Jim has four lands to seize. The next block of land will be in Taranaki with um, um, Te Waikere Poru um, um, and his um, Hapu there. I will be going through that with him. I'll try and contact him before I go down. Um, Waikere Poru. Um, Huirangi. Te Huirangi Waikere Poru. Chief of uh, Taranaki, Mount Taranaki. Okay, so I'm sticking to him because he's stuck to me all these years. And the next block of land will be Kingi Tarua up in Waitangi, the Waitangi land blocks and Titi land blocks. Okay, the Waitangi land blocks and the Titi land blocks. Whichever one he's going to start with, I've got the titles there. I can start on that one straight away because I've got the TB3 blocks and the whole of the uh, Waitangi blocks to seize. I've already said that, I've already made that statement online. And it sticks. It stays there because it's housing the crooked fraud New Zealand government business inside the Waitangi Marae. King's Bench Native Grand Jury Trial Court House and our ship of Admiralty outside in the paddock. That mast, ship mast of King William IV, ship at the time of 1834 from Kororareka, that title, Navy ship settlement <coughs> and Captain James Reddy Clendon was brought across from a Kiato native court into the Waitangi Marae Treaty Grounds inside that Marae on the 15th of April 2016 then transferred to Titi Blocks on the Titi Marae uh, in the paddock where the Popo is as the to Team Marae Grand Jury Native um, Trial Jury Court. Okay, so it opened up there. It transferred through Waitangi backwards and onto to Team where it was in the first place. Uh, the chiefs and their memorials, those Popo or Po Whenua sitting in the paddock, Tauranga Tira, that's what it's called, the chiefs of the time from Tengairi in Matari Bay under the Pohutikau tree in the river mouth there of the river there uh, where they selected this flag in 1834 with between 1830 and 1834 with James Busby okay British resident so it was James Reddy Clinton who started the sale and purchase agreements and that's all it's about, the financial investment interest of our Maui Crown, King William IV, Queen Victoria, trust business inheritance belongs to us, the trust belongs to us, the second party to a two-party contract between us and the British Navy, um, First Lord of the Sea, um, Sir Paul, Sir Paul, Sir, um, Oops, I'm just trying to think of his name. Anyway, the um, anyway, first Lord of the Sea. Um, I'll, I'll get his name yeah, um, in Britain. Okay, the Navy 
in the first instance, is our legal partner from uh, King William IV to Westminster Parliament. Okay, so Westminster Parliament is in a big mess at the moment, and we're going there to sort that out. So that's the uh, series of events that I just want to bring you up to date with uh, Jim Wikwaku, Chief, uh, and myself, uh, and also um, with uh, Te Hurangi Waikere Puru at Taranaki, and Kingi Tauroa from um, Te Tī Marae, King's Bench Native Grand Jury Trial Court House. Okay, so that's our um, hui at uh, Parihaka uh, in south of uh, New Plymouth, about a half an hour out of New Plymouth, or an hour out of New Plymouth, towards the mountain in a place from on the main road from uh, New Plymouth to Wanganui, uh, a place called Pungarehu, and you go east of there and you'll come across Parehaka Marae. Okay, so at the moment that's where the Hui is. Um, on the 1st of May 2017 we'll be there. There'll be 12 of uh, um, us going from uh, Apodigi and uh, also my crew, uh, Jamie, um, um, Patrick and um, uh, Dion and Tika if they're going to go. Um, we'll see um, if they're going to go across. Um, so that's the events of um, that period of time, 1830 to 1831 to 1834, of these titles I'm talking about where we are, the commercial landowners of this country. And uh, it's for you, the people, who have to refute our affidavits. I'm going to be a bit later now because I haven't started on it yet. I'm going to try and make a start. Um, tomorrow uh, on putting together the affidavits. It'll run from the 14th uh, to uh, past the 1st of, of May now and probably be, uh, the hui in Rangitukia will be on at least up to the 10th of May um, 2017. I'll just have a look at the um, um, calendar and we'll see what date it would be, around about. I'm delayed um, because of having extra research on the churches. 13th, that's on a Saturday, 13th of May uh, 2017. That's more likely to be the date of our hui at Rangitukia for the chiefs to attend. So that will give me an extra two weeks and an extra two weeks uh, time in order to refute uh, the affidavits. But the affidavits will be against those people I'm accusing, uh, named, photographed, going straight onto online, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Google. And if your name's on there, you have to refute it with another affidavit, with your lips moving and your mouth saying things to defend yourself. This is an online media um, trial uh, case uh, directly um, online and also in the Marae at Parihaka. This case will be brought up there for um, um, mandate from all the hapus, chiefs in this country. What they say goes. I'm just saying Jim and Kingi and um, um, te Waikere Puru, um, Te Huirangi Waikere Puru, uh, what I say and you say and the chiefs say goes. You are the commercial landowners, I'm saying, of this country. And it's up to anyone else to say otherwise because that's the law from that day, the 1st of May straight to Rangitukia and then other lands after that. We're setting up this um, grand jury court on that fashion, legally, uh, as commercial landowners, legally on one block at a time uh, to reverse the titles back into customary title, taking the mortgage off, no more mortgage on the lands, removed, and those people on that land or any land will be audited 
for their accounts to show who they got it off and where they're up to and it's the government that's got to pay the bill and the taxpayers. All the people on that side, left side, which is the Queen in right of New Zealand or the Queen of New Zealand and her monarch and her sovereign and her coronation and everything that goes with it, I'll be putting it all there. That title against the King and the surrogate, myself and the chiefs and the native grand jury court from Ohokiato to Tetehi Marae in the paddock where the tent is. We're putting the tent, same tent, on these blocks of land at Rangitukia, the B7 Aho, B7 block. We're putting the tent in the paddock beside the waka, seize the whole bloody lot and the waka and all its title and its <coughs> history of death and wrecked riverbed, all that riverbed wrecked and what happened on that side of the Queen didn't honour her contract with the Treaty of Waitangi, that's one, that's a Maori one, and she didn't, and the King was corrupted by her um, Rothschild banks and their system of Crown corporations um, corrupted our titles on our lands. Okay, so that's uh, really what I want to say. Our chief in um, Te Araro, uh, on the Marangaro land blocks, um, um, Chick Karaka or Te Ekua, um, Rangi Te Ekua, uh, Karaka, and also um, Edwini Karaka up at uh, Te Hapua. Um, Marae, uh, Te Hikua Te Hikua Marae up in Te Hapua, <coughs> far north, right, kept running up that area, Spirits Bay, not far from there, that Marae, and um, uh, his uh, Hapu. So we're working with him and the land blocks to follow in this fashion. Um, I haven't got anybody from the Tainu area, but certainly uh, the uh, Cook Street block or land will be the first one up after these ones I said will be, um, that one will be going the same time as the um, <coughs> Lotton Point Motel will be seized. Just a note of this, that's a urupa of my Wānua family right underneath that motel, uh, and that's their fence from that point of view. Anything that's built on a on a uh, Urupa and the Urupa has been shifted off, the same as the airport in Auckland, has been shifted off the land, the Manukau land, it's your argument against these titles <coughs> on who was there in the first place. You can forget about Māori because they came here as somebody else and that was put together by the Pākehās. Now the Pākehā has to stand up in front of these native chiefs with the original surnames and argue your point of who you are on your feet with your surname. That's the rule of Moai Crown. You stand there with your own name, no whangai, no nothing else, because that's how kings talk. We're talking kings' law, where the admiralty came from, how you got on these lands is from the king, not the queen. The king's bench court brought the admiralty, mortgaged lands, and stuck them on the land. Okay, that's how you got here, through that church and that ship of admiralty, James Reedy Clendon. Okay, and <coughs> the bishops inside that church, St. Mary's Church, at 1831 and 1834. The British Navy. Okay? And so that's that's how it works. Philip Jones. Sir Philip Jones, that's what was the name I was trying to find. Sir Philip Jones is the first Admiral of the Sea, um, um, who is our legal partner in this flag of Admiralty. It's still live. It is a private contract of mortgage lien over the lands of every native country in the world 
is this flag of King William the Third, King William the Fourth, reigning monarchs of the time period of 1830 to 1837, King William the Fourth, and 1650 and 1702, King William the Third, and the Saint Patrick's Church Order of Borough Councils to pick up the ground rent, the rates, the fines, the administration costs for running the local borough council, local government and the central government of this country and its administrative um, executive, straight to Britain, Westminster government. Okay, so but the Navy is the partner, the ship's captain of all the British Navy ships in the world acting as surrogate kings to proclaim the land belongs to the King of England, Britain, UK, Hanover, New Zealand and Pacific Islands and the Commonwealth countries of the world. 250 countries now under this flag and Maui crown. King William IV Trust. Okay, you may ask, well where does the money we go to or the land that we seize as a consequence of the Crown Corporation's Queen Monarch of the countries including America, United States of America, belonging to the Queen. Everything the Queen's ever touched had business to do with using this flag and King William the Fourth, King William the Third, and King George the Fourth, uh, King George the Third, the father of King William the Fourth. King, uh, King George the Fourth, King William the Fourth, and King Ernest Augustus the First. Those four kings and King George the Third, their father, is this flag. The four kings of the commerce and the emperor, imperial state government of the world. This is who we are as their partner. Okay, so that's what I'm saying, it's a commercial title, commercial land owner, sense of the legal word. My word against yours, is what I'm saying here. On behalf of Kingi Tauru, Chief, Ngāpui, <coughs> Ngāti Dahi, and on behalf of Jim Tupi Wikotu, uh, Chief of Matatu Waka, and on behalf of um, Te Waikere Puru, Te Huirangi Waikere Puru from Taranaki, uh, Chief of the Taranaki tribes, and also um, um, Rangiti Ekua Karaka, Chief of the East Cape um, at the moment on the Marae. <coughs> the Marangaro Marai, <coughs> original name of that land, and also uh, myself there as the uh, surrogate king inside that Marai, and also inside the <coughs> Rahuri, Rahui Marai in Tikitiki, my Wanoa, own Wanoa Marai, both those Marais, the Marangaro Marai at Awatere, and the Rahui Marae in Tigiri are the two Marais that belong to my Wanoa family, Urupa um, <coughs> ancestors. Okay, so that's all I wanted to say for this uh, video, and we'll get on with the work, and I'll try and get a hold of uh, uh, people that I need to let know what's happening. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, today it's 7.43 now, a.m. in the morning of the uh, Wednesday, the 11th of <coughs> April 2017. Did you a nice day today. Thank you very much. Bye.